F-Stoppers November Photography Contest starts right now, and the genre this month is portrait photography. The guest judge this month is the world's most famous headshot photographer, Peter Hurley himself. And you know Peter doesn't put a big emphasis on lighting, he wants all that to be locked down, but he's going to be focusing heavily on what the subjects are saying in each photo. We wanna see interesting and confident expressions, so make sure that the faces in your shots aren't too small. I'm also excited to say for this competition, we have the biggest prize pool of all time. Third place is going to get a free tutorial from fstoppers.com slash store. You can check out all our tutorials there, figure out what you want if you win. Second place is going to get the world's most advanced and I believe the world's most expensive Thunderbolt dock. This is the iVanke 20-in-1 dock. I recently did a review of this product, it blew me away. If you plug in a bunch of stuffs, including monitors to a dock, you might actually max out your 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt bandwidth but this dock has two giving you 80 gigabit per second bandwidth and allowing you to plug in almost anything you can imagine into this dock and it's going to work. I plugged in every single port in my review and I got it to work. And that's why I reached out and asked them if they would sponsor this video and I'm excited to say second place is going to get one of these incredible docks. And the grand prize for this competition is my favorite portrait lens of all time, the Tamron 70 to 180 f 2.8 lens. If you win this competition, you can choose this lens in a Sony, Nikon, or Canon mount. So why do I say this is my favorite portrait lens of all time? I like the versatility. First of all, I like having a zoom lens. I really feel limited when I'm trying to shoot portraits with a prime lens. I also like the telephoto nature of this lens. I don't like being right in people's faces with a 50 or 80 millimeter lens. If your subject isn't comfortable being on film, they can feel a little uneasy with you being so close. I like backing up away from my subjects a little bit. I feel like it gives them space, but then I also like zooming in and compressing that background. I think it gives my shots a really unique professional look. Now we've compared this lens to the 70 to 200 millimeter by Sony and Nikon over the years. You're getting almost identical image quality, almost identical autofocus. You're saving over 50% and you're also saving a lot of size and weight. This lens is significantly smaller than the competition and you're only losing 20 millimeters on the long end. For me personally, it's worth the trade. As always, you can join this competition right now totally for free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. Head over to fstoppers.com slash contest to check it out for yourself. And thank you Ivanki and Tamron for sponsoring this month's contest.